the Easter show features a, a Ferris wheel with a radius of 10 meters. Now this is a diagram of a Ferris wheel and uh, this Ferris wheel has a radius of 10 meters. Okay, what else is given? Okay, so one more information. Uh, K and Kate, Kate get on a Ferris wheel at ground level. So they're starting at ground level and this is the ground level and say so they're going anti-clockwise, they're going this way. How far are they above the ground when the wheel has turned 150 degrees? So this is, this the wheel has turned 150 degree and Keith or K is here. Yeah. The question is you want to find how far a bit above the ground are they? Okay, so let me draw the ground level. So this is your ground level, okay? And the question is, what is this height from year to year? Okay, so let us break this up. So the re the question is, you want to find this height. So I'm going to split this like this. Okay, so let me drag this slightly up. Okay. Okay, so the question is, uh, you want to find the height from so about this point, this is k to here to here. This is this height you want to find, okay? So here, we know this, the radius is 10 meters, and if this is 10 meters, this is also 10 meters. So if this is 10, can you understand this and this are opposite sides of a rectangle? So from year to year, we can say this is also 10 meters, okay? And now, this is a right angle, this is a right angle, this is a right angle, so this is also a right angle. Or in other words, this is a rectangle. Okay. Now, if this is 10, let's call, say this is X. Okay. And this whole angle from year to year is 150, so, and this is 90. So what would be, how much would be this angle? Well, that should be 60 degrees. Because 90 plus... 60, 90 degree plus 60 degree is 150 degree. Okay, adjust, and this is what you have to do in this type of examples. Try to split uh, the diagram in different uh, rectangles or triangles. So what I've done is I made I made a trapezium shaped first. I joined from year to year, and uh, found this joint from year to year, and then I split this into a rectangle and a triangle. So this whole angle is 150 degrees so, and this is 90 so 90 plus 60 is 50. So now you've got a simple right angle triangle. Okay so I'm drawing suppose let me my focus is triangle A, B, C. Okay so let me draw the triangle away so that you can see this is A, B, C. Okay so this is A, this is B and this is C. Okay, so this angle is 60, and this is x, and this is 10 meters. So if you know 10, if you find x, 10 plus x would be the height of k or keith when they have traveled 150 degrees. So let's find x. So now this is a, an example of Sokatoa. Okay, so here you have to label, so let me label this say as an angle. A Greek letter is generally used, so let us say call this theta. This is theta. With respect to this angle, this is which side? This is the opposite, and this is clearly the hypotenuse. So you've got three trig ratios to use from. You've got so, ka, toa. So as a good habit, it's always first step is to label it and then decide. So which trig ratio uses opposite and hypotenuse? Well, that is, this is clearly so. So I'll draw the so triangle. Again, this is again a good habit to draw the triangle, the formula, so that you decide, you can decide whether you have to divide or multiply. And you write so always like this, S-O-H like this. Okay, and then you have to find O, so O, so let me write O is equal to S and H are sitting underneath, so you have to multiply. So that is S times H. So O, again O, 
is equal to S stands for sine of the angle. That is sine theta times hypotenuse. I could have written this capital. So this is, so don't confuse. So this is so. Uh, so let me make this capital. Okay. Okay, uppercase. Okay. So now let me substitute what is O. O is O is X is equal to sine 60 sine 60 times your hypotenuse which is 10. And now you have to use your uh, calculator. So let me get my calculator. So I will set this in degrees. So it's already in degrees. So I'll go uh, 60 this calculator you to do 60 sine, where is sine? 60 sine is this number times, where is the times key? Uh, this is times 60 sine or sine 60 times 10 equal. So that is 8.66 meters. I'll say this is 8.66 in 2 dp. So x is equal to 8.66 meters in 2 dp. Okay, now the question is not to find x, to find the height of Keith. So you can say the height of Keith or Keith or K. Height of K and Keith or Keith. When they have traveled, I'm not writing the whole thing. <coughs> when they have turned, 150 degree would be uh, 10 plus x. That is 10 plus 8.66, which is 18.66 meters. So they are 18.66 meters above the ground when the Ferris wheel has turned 150 degrees.